Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again and today I wanted to talk about the Rogue Looter Shooter Synced which is in beta right now and I've been very much enjoying, there's a lot of variety to the way this game plays because it is really focused on PvP. Now you can play strictly PvE, that is fine, but I feel like to get the most out of this game you're really going to need to be playing a lot of PvP. Because that's really where the end game is going to shine and what the ultimate goal is going to be. Now this is a character based looter shooter where you pick a character that has different skills like dead cut with his fire grenade or a bunch of other characters that are available options and you can also choose a nano. Now over time you recruit the nanos they are basically like it's almost like a summon that you bring to the table and they also have unique skills and abilities and statistics all that kind of good stuff that make them very very interesting because you can for example you have a crusher who is a brick wall with a bad attitude they describe him as and basically a huge defensive character that you can throw out who will take the attention of the enemies and yeah, the interchange between your character and the nanos is also very interesting in that you can really synergize builds based off of the combination of your own skills plus the nano skills to maximize efficiency. So I really like that aspect and I think it's something that I think could be expanded upon in the future. Now, the other thing that I like is that obviously... As with any other looter shooter, the gear matters, so you're going to want to obtain the best weapons, the best uh, add-ons that are going to enhance your character as well, which is very, very important. But all of that will depend on whether you're running a certain character, certain nanos, or whatever to determine the best, essentially the best build that you could possibly come up with in a game. So... Uh, they've got stuff like the Dead Sector Run Team Up and Runner Squads to track and defeat Tyrant Nanos. Together, you fight through surge infested sectors to clear out surge corruption, gather resources, unlock special abilities, and upgrade your armpit. So that's really in PvE where you're going to be upgrading your abilities, upgrading your skills, unlocking additional nanos, all that stuff. And then you've got Nerva Run, which is PvP. Charge into the Meridian with your team to fight other runners. For Nerva, use your nano companions and special abilities to intercept harvesters, battle goliaths, and eliminate rival runners before they eliminate you. Now, you actually extract in this mode, so you're going to want to get to an extraction point. And then the nice thing is that all of your abilities, all of your builds, everything carries over from PvE to PvP. Now, that's going to lead to one giant question on how they balance things for both, right? How do things put in the game be really strong and feel really powerful in pve but not be broken in pvp so that's something that i think we'll see over time because there are definitely some characters and some nanos right now that are far stronger in one or the other and if it stays like that it's going to be hard because you're going to want to have a play style that's kind of different for both and that's Something that maybe it'll meld for more in the future, but that's just something that I've seen so far. Now, one of the nice things about this game, too, is that because of the PvP, that's really where the end game is going. You're not going to see any raids or any or traditional dungeons like you might see in other games at this point. Uh, but you're still going to be able to have an end goal because I think end game is where these looter shooters struggle and you need either pvp quality raids quality dungeons horde modes something to keep the game interesting over the course of time because otherwise they will not keep everyone's attention long term so you do have upgraded upgradable mods you got weapon mods all kinds of good stuff that you can level up as the time goes on and I find it, like I said, I find it very interesting the way this game works. And the gameplay that you're seeing is pretty basic initial gameplay. Like I said uh, on stream when I was playing a little bit, I am on my laptop, so I can't really uh, record all of my footage. It's been a little bit of a problem. I've been playing PvP, but I haven't been able to record it. So that's why you're going to see just some base level gameplay in the background here. But... Overall, my first impressions are, of Synced are that it has a ton of potential. I think 
we need more varied enemies like the enemies to look a little bit different we need uh consistent updates with the nanos and new characters and we need a variety varied game modes so that way uh not only are you jumping into pv or pvp but you can kind of jump into different types of modes within that as well for different types of rewards different kind of gameplay loops because otherwise the game can get fairly boring now that this is just a beta so there is still a long time before we see the end result of this game i think we're still a little ways away from seeing what the final result is going to be it is supposed to come to console that's one concern i've had is controller gameplay doesn't feel super great at this point but i think for a lot of people uh, who play on PC, that's not going to really matter too much and maybe a benefit, to be honest. But uh, hopefully by the time it does come to console, uh, First Descendant had the same problem where it just feels a little clunky on controller compared to a mouse and keyboard. So uh, hopefully by the time it comes to console, it does correct that a little bit as well. So other than that, uh, those are my initial impressions of the game. Why I'm excited, cautiously optimistic though, because this is a game that while it could be very, very good, uh, we're going to have to wait and see how the gameplay loop works, how quickly you can level up your gear, how broken certain things are, you know, and once you figure all that out, you'll see where the game can go in the long term. But my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more sync content from me in the future, like the video, subscribe to the channel for sure. And I'll be posting more as I play more in the beta and also once it does move towards the full release. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you all later.